Hey pilots, Drain Man here, and today I have a pretty awesome video. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at this brand new, hot off the shelf, Tiny Hawk Light. FPV combo kit. Now, what makes this different or special from any other FPV kits? Well, number one, it comes from the Tiny Hawk line, which is a long line of amazing quadcopters. But number two is the price. This price is mind blowing to get a remote controller full set of goggles which are expandable into an actual display unit and you get a full quadcopter for the amazing price of $159.99 and I know that sounds kind of sales-ishy but it is kind of impressive $160 bucks, you're getting everything Sounds good to me. Now, I don't know how good it is till we open it up and play with it. But where this also becomes awesome is this is supposed to be beginner friendly. That means I'm going to open this box and be able to fly right out of this box. And we're going to do that right now together. Here I am, Drain Man, never flown a quadcopter in my life. I am going to open this up and let's see if I can fly this right out of the box. I don't know what I'm doing. Here's a drone. Wow, cool, looks like a drone. What is this? This is propellers, right? I know what propellers are. Okay, let's keep going. We've got a remote, okay, very nice. I've got a bag of goodies. We'll go over those a little bit more if we want to, I don't know. And here is the goggles. And then maybe some antennas. All right, let's go ahead and see if I can fly right out of the box. I don't know what I'm doing. These are my goggles. <laughs> okay, so what I do see is I see two covers, so I know that that means I'm going to need to put something on here. Okay, my goggles are ready, I think. I can tell that <laughs> they pull apart. So what does that mean? That means I can wear them as goggles or I can pop this off and attach this to a mount that comes and I can fly on my radio just like this. That is awesome. That is a pretty cool feature. I know that I don't need this to fly. So there we go, I've got my remote. Woo! -hoo! It's labeled Disarm Arm Beginner Intermediate Expert. I have flip over mode and beeper alarm. All I need to fly is a battery, which is already on the drone for me. So that means I know how to mount it. Thank you for doing that. I've got two connectors. That's pretty obvious. I'm going to plug those in. I need to power up my remote. I see a button. I'm going to try holding it. Okay, so that's connected. Here's my goggles. How do I turn this on? Because I don't know what I'm doing. A, oh, there's a power button. Okay, and goggles are on. You see that? They're powering up. Okay, that was easy. Now I'm going to plug this in. Let's see. I don't know what I'm doing. Remember this. I powered up the drone. I have LEDs. Okay. How do I know if I'm connected? <gasps> okay, full video. See that? You got video? Video, video, all right. Now, I'm gonna try to fly my drone. Flip over mode, beeper. I don't know what that does. Disarm is there. And arm. I am armed, but one propeller's not spinning. So I'm gonna shut it off. And I see that it's a tag, so you got to make sure there's nothing in your way. Especially, which we're going to dive into, is because these are brushed motors. These are not brushless motors. And we do have to put that in the con category, right? They are a downfall. We prefer brushless motors. Those are better than brushed, but that's okay. Here's my antenna. That's pretty cool. I'm going to peel off this sticker. So I've got an antenna here. I've got an antenna here. I've got cool lights. I've got a camera. I mean, this is pretty cool. Let's try again. Hopefully that motor's not broken, because if so, that's going to kill this. We're powered up. Here we go. I'm going to throttle. We ready? 
Okay, here I am flying right out of the box. You guys saw that, right? Does everybody agree? I didn't do anything. I powered on the remote, powered on the drone, powered on the goggles. I got video. I'm armed. I'm flying. And I have a switch right here that gets me from angle mode, horizon mode, all the way down to acro mode. Straight out of the box. I'm going to unplug this. I'm going to power this down. And I'm going to power this down. I know that's what it's supposed to do, and I shouldn't be so surprised and impressed that it did what it's supposed to do. But... Today's day and age, 159 bucks. I'm surprised it did what it's supposed to do. I don't know how it's going to fly. I don't know how far it's going to go. We're going to play with that today. This is an analog drone. What does that mean? That means we are not DJI, walk snail, HD Zero. We are none of those things. We are analog footage. That means all you need is a pair of analog goggles or an analog display and you can get flying with video, which it's FPV, so you want video. This is brushed motors. This is not our favorite because we want brushless. Brushless is better, it's faster, it's more efficient. But is brushless gonna work? It is. They are just plugged in, I believe, here on the stack. Yes, they are. Boom, they're just plugs right here. All right, so I wanted to go ahead and open this up really quick and go over some of the components so you understand what we're working with. What you're gonna see right here is we have type C, which is nice. That means we're not packing the old USB, micro USB on a brand new stack. So they didn't bail on us there. You've got plugs. They are brushless motors. That is not our preference, but that does mean you can jump on Amazon or wherever. The other thing that makes this drone cool, which I'm not gonna get into, is all I gotta do <coughs> is plug this in and I'm in beta flight. So if you don't know what beta flight is, that is what controls most of our quadcopters. You can tune it, you can change it, you can change settings, you can change flight characteristics, you can have some fun. If you don't know what any of that is, that is the beauty of this drone beginner drone with the possibility of you becoming an FPV pilot all right now if you're unsure this red one right here is going to be your ELRS and I recommend having it out that way it can reach further boom and this one back here is your VTX that is your dipole antenna for your VTX that is how your radio and goggles are communicating to this quadcopter. The other thing would be the charger. If you're unsure, you just plug it into a USB block, any USB block. You're going to plug this in. You're going to get a green LED. That is going to let you know that it's charging. It'll be solid. Once it dies down, you are fully charged and you're done. Good to go. Okay. That is how you charge your batteries. These do have the new connectors. These are supposed to be tried and true. Better power, better voltage, less braking, no chance of, uh, you know, reverse polarity, all that stuff. These are called the EM 2.0. All right, pilots, one last thing I've got to show you is this FPV quadcopter comes with the VTX set at 100 milliwatts. You can go 100, 200, 300, 400 milliwatts if you unlock this bad boy and that's pretty awesome because i remember back when i used to get beginner drones we were lucky to get 25 milliwatts so to get 400 out of the box is crazy but you do have to unlock it so i want to show you how to do that very simple process but this way you get the most out of your drone so if you bought one or if you have one you do need to do this what you're going to do is underneath there's a button right here you'll see that button right beep 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 you're going to hold that button down while plugging in. Boop. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. I'll do it with you. I'm going to just use like a wire or something. So I have the button down, and now I'm going to plug this in. Boom. We are unlocked, ready to go, and now we are rocking a unlocked VTX. We're going to get the most range. <laughs> Let's go. All right, pilots, that is going to do it for the Emax Tiny Hawk Light FPV Combo Kit. I hope that you guys had as much fun as I did. If you're a new pilot and you're considering getting into the hobby, or maybe you want to get a friend, a brother, a sister, a dad, a son, a daughter into the hobby, this is a great way to become a real FPV pilot. Or if you're a beginner and you just want to have some fun, 
jump in. I hope that you guys will get one and have as much fun as I did. And I will see you on the next one.